looking at the pulse chain ecosystem prices. So yeah, um, we will get into kind of the gigantic sell that happened last week. Um, and to, to kind of in, in part be a catalyst to where the prices are right now. But we got Pulse uh, actually moving up a bit, uh, as Patrick said earlier. Uh, it's 20% below SAC rate right now. Pulse X at the, this is a real insane one, but 69% below SAC rate at the moment. And Sin of Token at 375. Hex at eight tenths of a penny. And E Hex, if anybody is interested at all, at uh, 1.6 tenths of a penny, I guess you would say. Um, 100 hundreds there you go um yeah so that is where we're at overall and what i was mentioning a moment ago so uh this nick cherry guy i don't know him you don't know him but uh, apparently he was one of like the literally like one of the top three people that benefited from being in hex early um has allegedly made millions and millions off of it and things like that uh, i guess there was speculation i think it was actually dylan yeah it was dylan on with uh cory geary and dane on friday i think who was yeah. saying that they were able to deduce basically through looking at like LinkedIn and stuff like that, that the guy was a dev for Coinbase in some way or like involved with Coinbase and had moved a lot of it over to base or whatever. Um, but yeah, he sold 3 million pulse, 3 million worth of pulse in one go. 3 million pulse wouldn't quite hurt the price that much. No. <laughs> um, but uh, looks like he's totally out of the ecosystem now. Uh, the pulse price, it, it was freaky. If you were watching any of that Friday morning, I mean, it it went down hard and fast, and there was a big wick down. I mean, the whole way down to, I think, about 55%, 45% below SAC rate. Um, but it did start to float back up to this level of support that we're at right now. Everybody's been talking about the key number of like four zeros in the seven nine, four zeros eight or so, which is where we're sitting literally exactly right now. Um, you know, it. It, it was interesting to get him out. I mean, it's one of those things, kind of like the the whole war timing with BTC is it's like, um, were we going to come down and touch these prices anyway? You know, right. whether, whether it took a little bit longer, or whether it was because of one whale capitulating or whatever, what, you know, we were probably going to get here at some point. So what do you make of that? And if you wanted to uh, pull up the pulse chart, we can look at that for a minute too. Iwag. Yeah, I, I before I do that, I want to, Acknowledge nonstop hex. Thank you for the twenty dollars oh, yeah. super chat. Hex postcards design contest alert. First place wins eight hundred. Four days left to submit your design that could onboard the wealthiest people in the world to hex and pulse chain. Thank you for the super chat. And uh, if you have a link or something that you want to post that we can pass along, please do it in the chat. I, don't I know, know I checked those out before. I sent it to you one night. Uh, Coffee tweeted about it I, like two weeks ago at this point. Okay. There were some actually really cool ones. But yeah, I don't remember what the link was. So uh, nonstop hex, if you're still here, drop that as well. Yeah, um, drop a link for us. We'll share it for you. Yeah. We appreciate it. Yeah, but uh, there were some very cool ones for sure. But um, anyway, right. yeah. what, now, what do you I think? I forgot what your question was. Well, hex, the, so, price, so price. Nick Cherry getting shaken out of the ego. Oh, Nick Cherry, and, yes. And, and so, getting to that price and then the pulse. Yeah, price. I mean, so he pulled out like, I think he was, like you said, in the top three as far as earners, uh, as far mm -hmm. as value extracted. I do believe he has pulled out $16 million um, total. But right. again, he is out completely he's gone he's washed uh so you know glad that he's getting out at, at these prices he's extracted a, enough for a, a long time <laughs> so yeah i mean times like this man this is what we need to happen and and i really think there are will be more i think there will be more people that get shaken out uh which is good it's good it's healthy for the ecosystem it's healthy now because you don't want them to sell later. You know, it's it's not hard to figure out that you'd rather have a whale get out while the price is cheap than you would when it's expensive and, and really extract a lot of value uh, because then they've got a lot more economic energy to continue to do it. So, you know, at, at this point, like I said, I'd rather see these guys get out now um, and, and wash their hands with it. And only the people that believe and have been here will will prosper and you, you know it's just it, it's part of the game that we play uh, hopefully the, the the people that you know for the majority of most people buy buy tops and and sell bottoms and that's how the market cleanses itself 
and primes it for the next run up. Uh, there are very few that buy low and sell high like he did. Um, he was one of the, the lucky ones to, but but again, he's out, so we don't yeah. have to worry about him anymore. He may buy back in when things go crazy, um, and at that point, he's he may have a lot of economic energy to 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 pump the price again, which you know we know now what kind of wallet that'll be. It won't be a long time holder, and um, so. One of the people you've got to watch out for, but again, they're out. So let's move on to continuing washing and cleansing out the rest of them that, that don't believe. Um, hopefully um, we can do that. I think 50 weeks shakeout will last a little longer than 50 weeks because we should be almost there um, in terms of, you know, 50 weeks to shake out the, the losers that don't believe. Basically say, another week. One more week, basically. Yeah, we're yeah. getting close, but I, I, I wouldn't mind it going a little bit longer, and I think it probably will, um, and really cleanse, <laughs> cleanse the dirt and and get rid of it. It'll really springboard after that, I believe. What do you say? Let me ask you this, and we'll just look at the pulse chart real quick. But what what do you um make of this? Because people are saying, like, how long are we going to be dealing with some of these toxic hex OGs that made so much money and are just going to keep holding this ecosystem down uh, by cashing out, not believing in the long-term vision? Because it's one of those things where, like, I understand newcomers to the ecosystem feeling that way, that haven't had their chance to kind of make hay yet, despite their long pain and suffering and holding and right. and, and all that stuff. I understand that. But then also... Not that I necessarily have like empathy for any of these whales that are dumping or anything, but you know, they also have lives to live and it's like, Hey, um, it's my money. Like I'll do what I want to with it. So, sure. Um, but yeah, what, what do you make of that though? The people that are worried like, Oh my God, all these like OG hexagons are going to dump and stuff like that. Or some of these guys that have faded away that used to be, you know, faces that were out there streaming. You know, we, we obviously have some great ones like, yourself crypto uh, uh crypto coffee maddie allen johnny chaos chaos like all these people that were around and are still visible but then a lot of people who aren't but like what do you make of that fear that it's like oh there's all these hex ogs with all this money that are just going to dump on me and stuff well the perfect time to buy it is now i mean you're not going to get these i think it was what three years ago the price was around here um mm -hmm. and yeah. if you're not if you're feeling that way and you're not buying it and trying to accumulate so that you can get a bunch on the next cycle then i don't know what to tell you then you're just going to bitch and complain about it anyway right you're just going to be hap unhappy because somebody's got more money than you or somebody got in when when you didn't or maybe you wanted to but didn't um it still goes back to delayed gratification and if you can buy at these prices um time it and and wait six seven years even maybe eight years two two years or two cycles from now um who knows what the price will do but i, I it's a long shot and i think it's totally worth it i, I think this this whole thing's going to come back it's got to rinse and it, yes there were a lot of people that minted a lot of money in the beginning and they were rewarded with it they they got in early you don't understand the amount of of hate and and gatekeeping and all mm -hmm. the death threats and things like that that those people that you're bitching about went through. Um, they held, they believed, and and now maybe they are selling out a little bit. But good, uh, now's your time. You know, Richard always said I wanted to de design this so that there would always be meat left on the bone for the next guy. Um, and here you go. Here's the meat on the bone. You're looking at prices right now that, you know, once this stuff is gone and once the supply dries up and people start taking it off the market, uh, these prices are going to go crazy. You know, there's very little out there. If you look at Hex Daily stats um, and look at the staking number, like the people that are staking, I'm going to pull it up actually because I want you to see this. And it's not. Um, while you're while you're pulling it up, I want to make another point that you're not saying that I think is a good point for those people too to realize about like if you're afraid of oh these hex OGs are going to dump or whatever. I mean, there's really not an ecosystem out there at this point that is more organic than the Pulse Chain one that you can go get involved with instead. That has not only will it have 
even bigger whales dumping on you, but it will be like venture capitalists that you had no idea that they even got the pricing that they got, you know, like seed rounds prior to Solana launching or whatever, you know, other chain you want to use Um, with Pulse Chain. Like you can see all this stuff happening. We know who the people, like literally the people get doxxed practically. So um, you're not going to have that on other chains and the dumps will be even bigger. So, I mean, this is, this is just kind of a necessary evil with some of these markets in crypto, especially that is going to exist, you know, and it's kind of, the price you pay for being in a volatile asset like this that you're not going to see, um, you know, as much in the stock market and stuff like that. So just something else right. to keep in mind. Yeah, I'm looking for it. And I don't know where the hell it's at. I saw it the other day. Well, it's why don't we? But anyway, the number of stakers goes up continuously. Um, it, it's it's not reflecting on the chart, but there are people buying it and there are people staking it. So, Mm-hmm. You know, I, I really think that it's it's slowly drying up, you know, and eventually it's going to get to the point where there's not a whole lot for sale. So, yeah, and, and T-shares getting more valuable as well. Well, the um, T-shirt price goes up every day too, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. 